part of Sick Week. It is probably the most anticipated event of 2022 so far. Race cars, fast cars, street cars. A lot higher competition of cars and uh, really taking it up a notch as far as competition goes. That was our first full pass in the car. Uh, we did a pass two days ago and it was my first pass since 2016 and we came off the throttle and the trans brake at the same time so that was a, a dud pass but so you know I was really excited to get this pass in. Um, left on the burn, 
go through some trans took a bit longer our bump doesn't work which is why we're on the line so long um felt amazing um shifted second uh, uh, I think I shifted second, I, I actually can't remember, and then I just saw fluid under the cowl on the windshield, and then it just got slippy. And uh, I killed the power pull, the shoe, tried to correct it, and yeah, the rest is <laughs> nightmare. <laughs> but, um, the car's not too bad, it still runs, we drove it back into here. Um, we're contemplating continuing, we don't know yet. Um, we're just looking at logs and checking everything out. Um, we're going to try and weld a new fitting onto the bottom of the radiator. Uh, and see how we go. Let's see. Let's go. We can go faster, I think. I think you know. I mean, that was that's gonna be my base base pass. I mean, that's just it. And uh, so we'll start sneaking up on it, you know, and try and go faster. And, I mean, there's. I got. Uh, I got. Well, we're. I'm only at 40 pounds of boost. Uh, it it kind of has a tune up for 60, so uh, there's a couple thousand horsepower left. So, well, probably about 1500 horsepower in, two, in another 20 pounds of boost. So, but you know, you got to get it down track. So, I'm just happy that it went and did what it did. And right off the trail, you know, just that's the first full pass ever, you know, where I didn't lift, you know, so uh, 682, 215. So, like I said, it makes up. 49 in the back half, 49 mile an hour in the back half. So I'm pretty proud of that because that's a that's a big heavy brick. <laughs> so I'm pretty happy with it. I'm all excited. So now we'll see if we can make the drive. That that's the next uh, hurdle since we've never driven it. So we'll see. So we, uh, I think we, uh, well, we took out uh, Pistons one so and three. One really bad, uh, just past the eighth mile, uh, or actually just before the eighth mile. It was, uh, it was on an okay run. I think we, I think our rings weren't sealing, and I think we got a little bit of oil uh, squeaking by, and we. I think we uh, deadled those two cylinders. And uh, yeah, I think it's, you know, we've. Yeah, it's Monday. It's uh, to do a half-ass repair Fox right now. It's in the cards. That oil pan is actually bullet round. The bottom of it is round now. It's not flat. Yeah. Yeah. Your valve cover. So I'm Declan Evans um, from Oklahoma. Yesterday when we got here and got teched in, we made a few test passes. Um, inadvertently, we had one hot plug in cylinder one. So with our second pass, uh, there was a little bit of smoke on the big end. When we checked the spark plugs, we had three straps burn off, so we just assumed that it was related to that. Um, and it just went went rich. It was some uh, fuel coming out the exhaust. Um, this morning, we rolled around for our first hit and uh, let it go to the trans brake. Um, it de backfired a few times through the burst panel, um, cleared up on the second pedal, um, ran it out the back. And uh, when we went through the back, or through the traps, it started smoking out the exhaust. Um, safety safari came down there, so I shut the truck off. Um, when we shut the truck off, uh, we looked for leaks. As soon as we went to fire back up and the ignition hit, it uh, backfired the nitrous that had accumulated in the crankcase from a melted hole in the piston, and uh, just blew the valve covers off, blew the uh, oil pan down, and uh, um, just any weak link that it found uh, detonated. So uh, we're currently searching for a piston. Um, if we can find a piston instead of valve covers, we'll swap it out and keep going. But it's not looking too promising for the Mopars in Florida. So here's one of the valve covers. Um, this piece should be right there. Um, the other one is right here. Blew the back out of it, ballooned it all up. And uh, it bent the fogger lines on the intake. It's sitting behind you. Uh, but the piece in the center blew out. It uh, bent all the fogger lines up, broke a couple of the fittings off of it, and uh, blew all the oil out of the valve covers. So we're getting all uh, wrapped up from day one of sick week. Everyone's kind of made their first pass. They're getting their cars turned around. They're getting on the road. And we are on our way to Orlando. 
I'm Adam Dory. Luke's behind the mic. You hear a couple of the guys up in the tower. We're on our way. Hey guys, it's just time for the fun. What are you doing? Ah, <laughs> uh, lost push rods. Uh, we ended up uh, having uh, rocker stands on our jessels. We're just yeah. interfering with the push rods a little bit. And uh, they wore them. They wore in enough yeah. that we got excess valve lash. <laughs> lost, lost uh, the, the lash got really loose and started hammering the push rod, balled the push rod, took out the cup on the uh, rocker arm as well. So we went through, pulled all the exhaust rockers off, filed them with a file, got our clearance, and we're now putting it back together so we can hit the road. Yeah, so uh, we uh, got 9.6 miles out of the thing here and uh, pouring oil out of the bottom. So we, we fixed what we thought we fixed, an oil leak at the track, but we didn't fix it. So we're out here with the whole oil pump and everything off trying to figure out where it's leaking from. So it's it's, uh, it's sick week. <laughs> yeah, no, it's cool. We'll be seeing you for the week. <laughs> yeah, so we had, um, there's the light clunking sound we heard and then went to slow down and use the brakes and it got a lot worse. Um, so we just coasted in here pretty much. And um, this caliper, the two bolts on it, one of the things we checked, but we thought we checked, but I guess we didn't. They were loose and fell out. And the caliper's just basically just hanging in here. Hurt the wheel a little bit, hurt the caliper a little bit, but we'll get some new bolts and go down the road, so. Get it out of the way. Filling up and trying to redirect some air. It's not keeping up, and I had a fan shut off. Just not enough air, even over over that radiator. So just doing a little propping up and getting more air over the, the radiator. Lock uh, full sucking. So what it did it broke the internal the, uh, gear off the bottom of the distributor, and when it broke, it popped the cap off, and the coils on the inside of the car. So when the cap came off and spun upside down it rotated, winding the coil wire. And uh, inside the car, all we saw was the coil spinning, like poltergeist kind of shit, so it was pretty crazy. All right, we're at the first checkpoint. We got the, uh, the old train station here in the background. That's the checkpoint for today. And uh, we're making our way to Old Town Orlando. Lots of cool cars here at the checkpoint. Lots and lots of good uh, conversations happening between everyone. Everyone's having a blast. Saw a little bit of carnage on the road. Nothing, nothing major yet. And uh, everyone's having a blast, man. Sick week 2022, uh, day number one. Sun's starting to go down. We're wrapping it up, baby. Water flow. What are you guys working on here, Kevin? We lost the radiator fan, so as in melted it. So we put a new one on, wired it correctly the second time around, and now we're gonna go drive to the old town. Let me go, there's no doubt. Gotta get out of this small town. You took my heart from me. Wasting here, waiting for another year. We both know the score. We've been here once before. So many words unspoken. You took my heart, it's already broken. You don't have to wait. I can take the pain. I will surrender. Let me go on a new adventure. Hey, we're here, Sick Week 2022, checkpoint number two. We're at Old Town, outside of Orlando. And uh, big news is two things, well, three things. We are not gonna be racing tomorrow. Unfortunately, we got rained out, beyond our control, nothing we can do. We're gonna go ahead and go on to Gainesville um, and pick up racing there. 
Uh, the other news is Tom Bailey is out of the event. Also, Dave Schroeder is out of the event. So two of our heavy hitters, unfortunately, not able to make the call. There's like five or six cars that can definitely take this thing over now. So it's not gonna be a runaway with like two pro mod type cars. We have a ton of cars in competition still, and it's anyone's game. Some peace of mind. Hope the night was worth your time.